by AT&T. Welcome to another edition of the Coach Sue Show. I'm Ryan Pensy alongside head women's basketball coach Sue Simrao. Coach, it's a brand new season as ACC play is underway. And you look back, you put together one of the toughest schedules this year. And one of the players that led you through a lot of that stretch was your captain in Alexa Deluzio. Yeah, well, she certainly has, Ryan. I mean, she's a player that puts everything out on the floor, every possession of every game. And, you know, in a very brutal non-conference schedule, Alexa's been quite a bright spot. She can defend the best player on the opposing team. She puts points on the board. She runs our team at the point guard position. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about Lex. Deluzio started off conference play, tying her career high with 23 points against the Maryland Terrapins. Here's a closer look at the transformation of Alexa Deluzio. Off the court, she's laid back and friendly. But on the court, Alexa Deluzio is a fierce player and the leader of the FSU women's basketball team. You know, on the court, she's just like, she's a completely different person than off the court. It's just, when she steps on the floor to gain her practice, it's strictly business. And you can just kind of tell the change in her demeanor, her attitude, and just her focus. Uh, during the games, I am competitive. Um, you know, I, I never want to lose. Um, and I take every possession. Um, seriously. At the start of this season, Alexa entered the top 10 in the team's history for three-point shots made. She doesn't focus on her accomplishments, she looks instead to her team as a whole. That's just stuff you don't, you don't really think about. It's flattering to know that you're up there with, you know, the greats, but um, I don't really think about it at all. She's one of the few people on our team that has always been able to excel through hard practices and hard games and find a way to finish strong and um, I think that brings a lot of energy and that brings a lot of confidence to everybody else. Although Alexa is serious on the court, off the court she spends her time acting a little differently. And I'm a movie person. I love watching movies. I've honestly I've probably seen every movie out there. She's just very, um, she's, just, she's just different. She's really laid back and down to earth and you always kind of know what to expect from her. She doesn't She's not full of surprises. She doesn't really, you know, beat around the bush for anything. One thing she doesn't beat around the bush about is her dislike of certain insects and animals. Um, I'm like deathly afraid of cockroaches, lizards, frogs, like anything closely related to those things. I cannot, like I turn into the biggest baby ever. Or a lot of times we'll just be like, Lex, watch out, there's a roach, and she just, she'll freak out. They were planning, or they were plotting, they never followed through with it, thank goodness, but to get a whole bunch of fake cockroaches and like lay them all in my bed and everything, I, it's probably a good thing they didn't do that because I would have passed out. Hey. The truth is, Alexis is a player that her teammates enjoy bugging. Not by playing pranks though, but by seeking her advice. Um. She's the biggest elder sister of uh, her family, so I think she also brings that here, that everybody can go talk to her, and she will treat you like if you're another sister, so. Yeah, I, I think I have a goofy side and a silly side, um, but I also, um, I really enjoy being that person that people can talk to and knowing that when they do talk to me, I'm, I'm not the type of person who's going to go spread their business. And it's listening and helping her teammates that made Alexa realize another goal in life after basketball is done. My passion and my love is for, um, for kids. I enjoy being around kids and children and I really want to work with um, young women who struggle with domestic violence. Whether she's on or off the court, Alexa is viewed by her teammates as their captain and their friend. I'm Brandon Buchanan for Seminole Sports Magazine. Well, you can certainly see what a rock Deluzio is to this basketball team. Coach, wanted to get your take on a new schedule this year for the ACC. It was announced last year they would go to a 16-game format, which meant that conference play started a little earlier than it had in the past. And then we found out this year that we go into 18 games next year. Yeah, it's a 
quite a daunting task. I remember when I first got to Florida State that we had a 16-game schedule, and I remember building the program at that time and knowing that you were going head-to-head -head with the best in the country in a 16-game schedule uh, was difficult. That's why we prepared our non-conference schedule in such a way as to prepare us. Uh, you know, going to 18, you know, that's uncharted waters. Uh, we'll see how that goes. The men are doing the same. Um, but with the growth of our conference, I think it's an important move. The additions coming of Pittsburgh and Syracuse in the upcoming years, you talk about changing from 16 to 18 games. How's that going to affect the uh, scheduling of non-conference games? Well, you know, continually you can't take a conference as large as ours and play any kind of round robin and then have any kind of non-conference schedule. So once again, it will change the format of the way that we do things. Uh, you know, it'll, again, it'll take some adjustment. It'll give us a fresh look again next year with our opponents and when and where we play them. Uh, but it'll be an interesting time. Do you anticipate that the conference schedule could start as early as Christmas? Well, we have all talked about it, and we, we feel like we can get this thing done if we start right after Christmas, and that gives us an opportunity to almost have two, two separate seasons with the non-conference and the ACC schedule. Uh, it doesn't give us as much of an opportunity to have bye weeks during that conference time. But, again, I think you know there are, there are benefits and there will be some detriments, and we're willing to, to weigh some of those and, and go with this 18-game schedule. And how much has the conference been working alongside the coaches? Is there any type of a committee that's been put together for this? Well, absolutely. We talk about it every fall, every spring, and, and throughout uh, how these changes are being made with the changes in the conference movements. And so we have talked about it at, at length. And again, with this 18-game schedule, it's hard for us to even fathom uh, dealing with new issues right now in the midst of our new 16-game schedule. So, again, we will revisit that come May. Well, that'll be coming up next season. 16 exciting ACC games this year, including some big ones at the Donald L. Tucker Center. Get your tickets for those right now at Seminoles.com. When we come back on the Coach Sue Show, we will take you back on a road trip to Ohio. Two road trips to be exact, and it was a homecoming for several Florida State Seminole players. That and more as we continue on the Coach Sue Show. Magazine is brought to you by AT&T.